lot of young adults in college, recent college graduates coming to us. That's an opportunity, but it's also a challenge because you have to train them. Um, and, and, and some of these young adults you know, need some help. They, they just got their first car and they're, they're uh, just got their first apartment. And, you know, I got to sign that lease. And what does that mean? And I'm getting engaged. And so it's really helping them develop as, as professionals, as, as, as adults too. And it's also training them about classroom management, how to do that well. And one of the ways that we try and retain them, Lance, is we want to promote from within. I would much rather hire um, or promote someone to an assistant director position or a director position that starts out, let's say, for example, in the infant room. And we just did that. We had a young lady that was in the infant room six years. And I said, hey, are you going to school? Um, she goes, yeah. And I said, well, how much longer till you graduate? She goes, oh, I have two classes. I'm like, two classes. I said, I'll pay for that. So she got her bachelor's in education. She got out of the infant room, became an assistant director. And about a month ago, we promoted her. And now she's leading the center by herself as the lead center director. And that she's just such a wonderful example of how we try to create, to answer your question, genuine community within the schools. And I think that's how we try and attract retain and develop our educators.